Hello, good afternoon. It's Daphne here again with Well Done Life. I'm looking forward to spending a few moments with you. Hey, Felicia, good to have you here. I know some more people are going to be hopping on. I hope wherever you are, those of us, uh, those of you who are joining us, are warm and safe and dry. We've certainly had some funky weather going on lately. So lighting was not an issue today because there was no sunshine that I could tell. So enough about weather. I want to, again, thank you for joining me and welcome you here today. I always like to start with a shout out. And today I have what I call a double dose of shout out of gratitude. And my shout out goes to Dr. Michael Hudson and Mike Kim. I had the privilege of spending a couple of days with them and a small group of others in Phoenix this past weekend. It was literally one of the biggest growth opportunities and mind-expanding, belief-busting, clarity, um, just riffing this so I don't know what starts with clarity catching uh, experiences I've ever had the privilege, truly a privilege to be a part of. It was a 3D boot camp. If they ever do one again, you must sign up the day that they offer it because it's a very small group because they go deep and it gets intense. But just like a piece of coal is refined into a diamond by fire, that's what can happen as a result of 3D boot camp. So Dr. Michael Hudson, Mike Kim, or Michael and Mike Eminem, I have to say thank you from the bottom of a very grateful heart and an expanded mind and vision for pouring into myself and those of us, uh, the other participants this weekend. So thank you for that. And now I wanna talk about today's theme. And today's theme is, what difference does hope make? Well, y'all know, if you've watched more than one of these videos, that I'm a little bit of a word nerd. My paternal grandmother used to do crossword puzzles. Like that's one of the things I remember most about her in pen, y'all. That's a serious word person when you do crossword puzzles in pen. So I grew up loving words. And whenever I present something, I like to do a little bit of Google research, you know. So I simply typed in the word hope into Google. And there were, no joke, two billion, like with the B, two billion, actually over two billion, I'm rounding down, search options for the word hope. So I propose to the answer to my question, what difference does hope make? All the difference. Boom, drop the mic. I could sign off right now. But if you have watched more than one of my videos, you know I won't. And hey, Lisa, good to see you. I, I want to start first really with, you know, what is the definition of hope? What does hope mean? It gets tied to the word faith a lot. And, and not everybody is a person of spirituality and or religious belief. So, you know, there can be a disconnect right then and there. So let's really just focus on the word hope. And, and what does hope mean? So of course I looked it up. And hope, the very first definition is feeling of trust. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Not a whole lot to chew on and process, but it's a start. So it dug a little deeper. And it says hope is the feeling of expectation and, this is big, 
and desire for a certain outcome. The expectation and the desire partnered together, in my opinion, is what defines hope. Because, I don't know about you, I know for me, there have been some things in life that I were, I was expecting, but they weren't things that I wanted. That's dread, that's not hope, okay? That's anxiety, that's whatever, but, but that's not what hope is. Hope is that combination of expectation and desire. So I started thinking, you know, how, how do we really talk about hope? It, with that desire for what we want, I started thinking about dreams. Dreams are made of hope. Back to childhood dreams. You hope someday, maybe, what if, okay? How about when it comes to healing? People hope they get better. In fact, I've got a friend right now who's got the flu, and without even thinking, I just typed in to the email, I hope you feel better. The desired outcome is that she's going to feel better. In fact, hope is so important in relationship to physical and emotional healing and wellness, that there have been studies done on recovery rates of patients and the improved odds when they had hope. I found an article, uh, it was posted in Psychology Today, you know, because sometimes I like to be really smart, and it was written by Paula, I'm going to get her name right, Paula Davis Lack, it's L-A-A-C-K, and y'all know my last name is Smith, so complicated words. So Paula Davis Lack uh, wrote for the science of hope. The article was published in Psychology Today, and I'm going to click, or I'm going to post the link here uh, in the comments section so that you can read it, because it really is the five ways hope impacts health and happiness. I mean, this isn't just like, oh, in theory, it's not just a nice idea. There's scientific proof behind this. Well, and there's the Bible, hello, but we're not here for that today, okay? So when it comes to hope, be it our dreams, be it healing physically, emotionally, how about in relationships? It, hope can play a factor in reconciliation or even initiation. So I know right now the people who are watching me live are women, so I'm gonna speak specifically to you. Think back, like, oh, I hope the boy likes me, right? Or I hope she'll be my friend, okay? So the initiation of a relationship. Hey, what about when things have gone sour or south? And, and it may not be with a friend or boyfriend, husband, whatever, even within family dynamics, right? I mean, I'm the oldest of three girls, trust me. Sometimes there needed to be some reconciliation. We're usually toughest on those closest to us, okay? So hope, to me, you know, what, what difference does hope make? Like I said, makes all the difference. I mean, seriously, without hope, what do we have? And I don't know about you, but I know for me, the people I'm drawn to, those are the people who have hope. I'm not talking about artificial fake stuff, okay? I'm talking about internal, inspired hope. They know that they know that they know. There is something good ahead. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may take six months, or it might take six years. They hold on to that hope to get them through. In fact, I, I'd like to encourage you to think of hope kind of like a seed. And when you plant a seed and you nurture that seed with water and sunlight and soil, that seed then sprouts and begins to take root. 
And then it spreads and, and it births force into an attitude. So my encouragement today is that if you've lost hope, go find some. Maybe you need to borrow it from somebody, okay? If you need to borrow some hope, I'll lend you some of mine. Just let me know. Type it in the comments or shoot an email to me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm happy to lend you some hope. If you've got hope, maybe you're willing to share it with somebody else. Reach out to that person who just is maybe a little down and they can't put a finger on it and, and you can't either. I'm, I'm not suggesting you rescue the world. If you've got a little extra hope, go ahead and, and share some with a friend. Excuse me. I'm here to tell you, when we let hope infest our spirit, then our attitude and everything else in life that comes our way and can happen is impacted. So I thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for taking the time to connect. It's obviously time for me to sign off and get a lozenge. Remember, live a well-done life today and live a well-done life in and with hope. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.